Hey guys, I want to show you a really quick way to help your content stand out because there's nothing worse than creating a blog post, an email, a social post, a video, only to let it die a slow death into the valley of despair where no one sees it. There's nothing worse than putting your heart and soul into something and it just being lost in the sea of noise. So I want to share a really simple three-step strategy or a three-step framework with you here to help you get more eyeballs, more uh, standing outness, helping your stuff rise above the noise. This is equally applicable if you're writing SEO type content on a blog. Um, obviously you'd incorporate more keyword strategy with that. <clears throat> but if you're creating stuff uh, for SEO or social content as I call it, which is stuff you're gonna be putting on social media, Instagram, Facebook, even by email, what I'm about to share with you I think will make a big difference. So I'm gonna open this up in a new doc or a new page here. And here are the three things you wanna know. So there's three things we need to really dial in, and at least you need to have one of these three, okay? So first and foremost, we got three, three circles. And inside, we're gonna have the first one being novel. So your content needs to be new, it needs to be novel, it needs to be something that is new in the sense that people have not heard this before. Now that's kind of tough to do in the world of health and fitness where everyone's heard of everything, right? So your job as an expert is to position your stuff differently so that it comes across as new. There are different ways of doing this, but I want you to think about how can I make my stuff seem novel? If you tell people, listen, just eat more vegetables, get more sleep, drink more water, they've heard that a thousand times. It's not gonna stand out, it's gonna get lost. They won't even pay attention to it. The reason we love novelty is because our the human brain is, is built for newness. It's the same reason why if you have an iPhone, if you're a hardcore Apple fan, you wanna get the next one, right? Because new means better, new means the next greatest thing. So novelty is really, really powerful when it comes to helping your content and your ideas stand out. The second thing is you want your content to be different. Now this is obviously very closely related with novelty because if it's different, obviously it's gonna be novel. So different is a lot of times often better than just being better. So you know, let's look at the example of a blog post. We're in the day and age where people are competing on size. <laughs> like really, hey, your blog post is 5,000 words, mine is 6,000. You have five images, I've got 10. And that's really the, the, the progression we've seen when it comes to content marketing online. So you can take that approach and be different just by being better, or you can come across completely different in the sense of your own perspectives, your wisdom. So if we look at ways to be different, we can talk about perspective, opinion, wisdom, which is really comes from the next point, which is experience. So when you present your content, you wanna be tapping into these different pieces because that's what's gonna help you take traditional how-to content and turn it into something really unique. What I'm doing here is kind of unique in the sense, it's different in the sense of how I'm presenting this. I'm, I'm basically writing on my iPad. It's a different type of presentation than if I were standing in front of a camera or with the whiteboard behind me. So that's an example of being a little bit different. And then finally, contrarian. We want to present content that is either novel, either different, or contrarian. And the reason this is important is because here's what's happening. So we have them over here, and we have you over here. And over here, we'll call this the status quo. And what you're doing is you are challenging the status quo. See, the reality is most people over here are not happy with the results. You're gonna present a new solution, a new perspective, something that's contrarian that is going to help them get a better result. So let's use the example of, of working out. Everyone's talking about CrossFit, right? So let's just say CrossFit's amazing. 
Right? Everyone's talking about CrossFit, 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 CrossFit games, CrossFit movies on Netflix. And all of a sudden, you come out and you're talking about how CrossFit's actually bad for your body. It's actually, uh, you know, a disaster waiting to happen, if that's what you believe, right? So now you're taking a contrarian perspective. And what this is doing is it polarizes. And when you polarize, it's a lot easier to monetize. Because now polarization means that you're standing, you're standing out, it's different, it's a little bit of a shock and awe, right? Because it's, it's catching people off guard, maybe it's really upsetting them in terms of challenging one of their beliefs. Like we have a Facebook ad right now talking about why health experts should be highly paid. We have like 270 comments on that ad of people just berating me and other people commending me for for that discussion because it, it pisses off a lot of people and a lot of other people agree with it and that's what you want to do with your content and everything you share marketing i want you to, to remember this okay let's uh marketing equals beliefs you need to share what you believe you need to share what you stand for and that's what this allows you to do, okay? These three different pieces, either you use all three of them or you use one of them or two of them, whatever. But if you're sharing content that is the same as everyone else's and if you're comparing yourself to what other people are doing, you're just gonna be lost in the clutter. So I hope this finds you well. I hope this makes sense for you. And at the end of the day, this is how you can infuse more differentiation into your content. So now what I'd love for you to do is let me know in the comments below what you found most useful from this. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got hundreds of videos that are coming your way to help you start or scale your health or fitness coaching business. And second, if you're watching this on Facebook or social, be sure to tag somebody who needs to see this and uh, who needs some help with their content. So that is how we help our content stand out.